All right, so in this example, question number two, um, again, if you guys remember, what I asked you guys to do is just to plot the information. So when you're trying to write the equation, the best thing to do is to plot the information so therefore you guys have an understanding of what you're looking at. So if you're going to graph it, you should graph it on an x and y axis. Vertex is negative 1, 3. And not only graphing it, but label it, right? Because remember what happened when you guys were doing all this stuff. You guys had that initial point and all those red dots, right? And one of the more common things I asked was like, where's your initial dot, right? So label things. Hey, that's my vertex. The directrix is y equals 1. Well, here's the y-axis. So when y is equal to 1, that's right there. So therefore, that's a horizontal line. That's my directrix. OK? Now, we know if here's my directrix, that's horizontal, negative 1, 3. OK, so therefore, we know that the, vert the focus, the graph, has to open up towards my focus. Right? It has to open up because it has to go away from the directrix. Because remember, remember the line of the axis of symmetry? Axis of symmetry goes through your vertex and therefore is perpendicular to your directrix. So my graph has to look something like this. It can't open down, right? Because then it would be going into the directrix. That doesn't make sense, correct? And the other problem is um, it. Uh, it can't open left or right because then it'd be, you know, the directrix is perpendicular to the axis symmetry, right? So that one makes sense. Um, all right, so now we need to identify what the value of p is. Now we look at this distance between the vertex and the directrix, and that distance is 1, 2, right? But the distance from v to the directrix, you're actually going where? Down. So that distance would be negative 2. So that means the distance going up is going to be positive 2. So that's my new focus. So I can say p is equal to 2, because the distance going up is 2. And I'm going down for my directrix. OK? Now, the, now that I know that p equals 2, the vertex, we already know that's h and that's k. So that's good, right? So we already have h and k. We have p. Since it opens up or down, I have two equations. Well, the equation that I want to use, does anybody know why I want to use this equation and not the other equation? Anybody want to give a shot? Yes. It is, but the other one was a parabola, too. Why is this the right one? How do you know, though? Let me ask you a question. What variable is squared in this equation? X. x is squared. What variable is squared in the other equation? Y. y. So when x is squared, that's the graph that opens up or down. When the y is squared, that's the graph that opens left or right. Well, I already know what h is, which is minus 1. So that's going to be x plus 1 squared equals 4 times p, which is 2, times y minus 3. So my final answer. Yep, I asked you to write the equation. 